Yes, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What's popping, baby? What's going on in the life of an Aquarius mid-month August, boo? All right. So, first and foremost, you know, I like long intro, so we're going to get into it. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. Um, Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, y'all. If this is your first time watching, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, to all of my existing subscribers. Thank you so much, family, for the likes, the shares, the comments, all of that, the love generally. Y'all showed y'all ass with them views. How about, shout out to Aquarius, all right? I love y'all very, very, very much. And I'm also going to figure out a way to reciprocate. Uh, reciprocate. Y'all know, the Mercury on my ass. I told y'all Eminem ain't going together. Mocha and Mercury ain't hitting, <laughs> ain't hitting, ain't with that lick read right now. But I will say, um, y'all thank you. I truly, I humbly appreciate it. I mean, like I told Pisces, I'm not going to cry because I have already. Y'all, thank you for walking with me on this journey. Thank you for allowing my light to radiate and shine through your efforts, as well as just self-love and the projection and kind of hurling your obstacles and sharing that with me to allow me to see my light in the world, lighting up others, you know? So it's, y'all, thank you. Truly, thank you. Okay, this is from the bottom of my heart, from the depths of my soul. Thank y'all, all right? So we rocking. This is for my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as cross watchers for the sign of Aquarius between the 15th and the 31st. This is general. If you need a personal reading, I did extend my personal reading um, special. Okay, so uh, go check out that breaking news video. I think it's the, I don't know if I named it, reading special. It's just everything's the same, just extended until the 20th instead of the 11th. All right, so we're going to get it. Let's go. We're going to start off with um, Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. I actually got two for you guys. Yeah, I put them back because I was actually shuffling it. And I put them back and then they, they literally flew right back out after I had shuffled. And, <laughs> and they, they were stuck together again, okay? And they had completely separated. So it's definitely meant for you guys to hear this, okay? The first one I have is Diamond. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. Diamonds are wonderful symbols of how... I'm sorry, how being under pressure can lead to beauty. After all, diamonds are formed by pressure on the carbon element that composes them. Perhaps you've been under strain recently or in a significant period of your life. All the stress or trauma you've endured has made you who you are. This card comes to you as a reminder that you are God's precious diamonds. Although you've been through a lot, God's strength and always, I'm sorry, God's strength has always supported you and always will. Now it's time for you to recognize how valuable you are. Just as you would only choose diamonds that are mined in a humane, fair trade way, so too do you want to treat yourself with kindness and fairness. This may mean developing an assertive style of communication where you show yourself respect and teach others to respect you too. So this is a time where you value your self-worth, okay? You first and tell other people, put some respect on it. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on how you treat me, okay? Because I'm God's precious gem. I'm a diamond, baby. All right? Gold also <laughs> is what I got. Gold. And this is the diamond card. Divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. You can expect a miracle to help with the situation you're, con you're concerned about. Prayers form. Prayers from multiple people have been heard and are being answered. This card indicates the need to hear and follow divine guidance. Many prayers are answered by God giving you a set of instructions to take action steps, which will bring about the blessed outcome. So do keep your mind clear and sober so that you won't miss noticing them. Create quiet space as well so that you can hear your inner voice of God. Keep giving this troubling situation to God through prayer, including praying for help and surrendering the concern if you are struggling with the fear of control issues. Since go is associated with Jesus, this card can also be a sign to reconnect with him, okay? Go, baby, diamonds and go, okay? Both beautiful elements. Aquarius, I feel some of y'all done lost y'all. Through the circumstances, the situations that you've gone through in the past, I feel that a lot of y'all have gained wisdom okay you're the sage and for some of y'all it's because you have the purpose here of being a spiritual teacher a healer okay but you have to live through your experiences in order to gain great wisdom a lot of y'all have been having a lot of faith okay your third eye is open and a lot of y'all have gone through a spiritual awakening a lot of y'all received that massive ass download possibly last night for those of you who have not this full moon cycle is going to be very precious to you august 26th is a very crucial day let go i'm here in aquarius 
I'm hearing let go. It hurts, but th this had to happen. Whatever the circumstance may be, and I haven't laid all the cards yet, but I've laid a few. Um, this had to happen, okay, in order for you to reconnect with the self and truly heal internal rooted issues. It's not about the circumstance that you're going through. God is not universe spirit, the creator of, you know, whatever you call and connect to God with, okay? For me, I feel that it's not what the universe has done to you. It's what the universe is doing for you, okay? It's allowing you to heal so that you can truly appreciate love, okay? And it, through some of y'all, it's coming in the form of a twin flame. Through some of y'all, it's coming through the form of a catalyst that's going to allow you and help you heal through connecting, pretty much getting trinity together. Some of y'all have been seeing 333 a lot, expansion, okay? But I do feel like it's the mind, body, spirit, baby. The trinity is taking place, okay? It's the connectivity and the aligning of the mind and the body, okay? So for some of y'all, I feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening. You're, you're wanting to pull people with you and you're wanting to take some people with you, but you have to leave them behind because they haven't made a free will choice to want to go or to want to grow or send to where you're going, baby. And a lot of y'all are having faith in this situation, but you needed to, instead of trying to control the situation or control the outcome to a situation, you needed to balance your mind and your body, okay? Alrighty. Aquarius, I do feel a lot of y'all are healing from a situation where possibly you were left out in the cold, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all right now are focused on finances, focusing on your money, okay? When in actuality, a lot of y'all are being guided to focus on your chakras. I keep saying something about the chakras, okay? This could have been the, during the month of August. I feel like a lot of y'all, the whole month of August, you've been working on your chakras. And during the 15th to the 31st, you're going to continue to do so because you're going to have to make a choice that's going to involve... It's going to involve you displaying a form of integrity, self-love, self-respect, self-care. Tell them to put some fucking respect on it. Okay, through this situation that it's been hard for you to let go, you're going to gain wisdom to enlighten another to heal them through that situation of, through, in a preventative manner. A lot of y'all have a lot of people that come to you and they will be coming to you during this, uh, during this time for advice on damn near everything. You're going to be a spiritual teacher to some, okay? When the student is ready, the teacher appears, and a lot of y'all are not asking for this purpose, is what you was born for. So contract time, time to time to line that line that thing on up, okay? So it's not about being fearful. It's not about being indecisive right now. It's about being true to you, so that you can radiate that to the rest of the world. All right? A lot of y'all are uh, definitely focused on your money. Some of y'all got. Some of y'all, if you're going through a financial situation, just know that you've been protected during this time, and you have your finances are going to turn around in a very massive way for the better during this time okay for those of you who are working at a job already you will see promotions during this time and you were going to apply for a promotion maybe you're kind of in your head about it go for it okay your integrity has gotten you noticed you never know who's watching okay also during this time trust your dreams some of y'all are some of y'all have a new water sign, okay, that you're trying to materialize something with, or someone could be materializing something with you. They could have come in your life after possibly healing from a situation where you were left out or you feel left out. A lot of y'all are having to break free of this rejection feeling. Um, this feeling of I'm not good enough. Why couldn't they get that to me? How come what was wrong with me that, you know, this person didn't want me? You know what's wrong with you? You have to love you as much as you're expecting this other person to. And that's just real shit. Okay? You have to love you as much as you expect this other person to. People are only going to do what you allow them to do. Okay? So if you allow a person to come in and give you some half-ass shit, why would they give you a whole offer if you want, they know you're going to accept some half-ass shit? It, it don't go together. So walk, you're a walking contradiction. The universe don't know what the hell you want right now. Okay? So a lot of y'all having to display that through forms of communicating. But first, it starts with the self. Be real with the self. How does this affect me? Okay? Love yourself. Do see some of y'all could be healing from a situation with a Capricorn towards Virgo. You're feeling like this person left you out of something. You're feeling like that Ten of Pentacles that you wanted to have with this person. You feel like this person left and went and had that with someone else. And you're feeling very rejected, okay? But especially if you're dealing with an Aries as well, because I do see on the karmic wheel, you see how the little monkey, I don't know if you can see the signs. I'll be trying to cut the damn light on when you can see, but you can see, I'm trying to put it closer. That's Aries, babe. See how tan is on the Aries. Some of y'all are definitely feeling rejected by a fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so you feeling like you weren't good enough, okay, for this person to choose you. Because I feel like some of y'all are trying to hold on to someone. You're trying to hold on to someone who is exploring their options. And it's time for that cycle to end. And some of y'all don't want to see it. Okay, let's get it. Spirit, give me the messages for Aquarius. From the 15th. The 13th. 
I love y'all. Heal, baby. It's gonna be all right. Let it go. What you want is not always what you need. The universe know what you need. They know what you've been through. They know what you need. What you do. A lot of y'all are gonna be coming out of the coming out of a period of defensiveness. Maybe I feel like some of y'all are defensive during this time because you're trying to heal. And maybe you have a fire sign possibly being defensive towards you as well during this time. Okay. And you needed to make a judgment call, okay? Do I want to go forward with this shit or do I just want to just drop it at the door because I ain't got time for this? Some of y'all are going to have to make a judgment call uh, regarding a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You can have children with this person, okay? But this or this or you could be wanting to create something with this person. This could also be an Aries, a Taurus, or a Libra, okay? You wanting to create something with this person or maybe someone sees you as someone that they want to nurture. So maybe they're kind of like, Spending financially on you, but ultimately you kind of indecisive on if I want to even go forward with this person or if I just want to cut this shit at the door because, to be honest, I haven't really fully healed. <laughs> so, you know, I'm I, I'm needing to just go for, go towards what it is that I'm passionate about for myself, okay? Not for what you're expecting from me or expecting of me, okay? So, like, some of y'all are afraid of love. Straight like that. Some of y'all are afraid to be loved, even though somebody wants to give you the world. You thinking about moving on, moving on from this person through the things that you've been through in the past. Some of y'all are defensive towards the idea of love, okay? And I feel spirit has sent you someone, a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, who wants to help you move through the past. And for some of y'all, you're making a judgment call. You still want to stay stuck in this mental conflict, possibly regarding a Virgo or a fire sign. Um, strong emphasis on Aries, but it could also be Sag as well. I feel like you want to hold on to the idea of a person because it's not really the person. I see the person that actually hit the dough, but you want to hold on to the idea of someone who has possibly moved on. That person is your wish. They're a soulmate. This is who you want your Ten of Pentacles with, okay? For some of y'all, this person could have moved on to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this person is their wish. This is someone who they want to be with. This person is... um. By this person moving on, Aquarius, this person is actually going to move you back into your power because I feel like this is somebody who you completely lost yourself with. And that's just real shit. Change is coming to a family dynamic. I strongly feel like a lot of y'all are having an internal fight, you know, with with yourself, with dealing with this person. I feel like some of you are trying to break free, but mentally, you don't want to have this blind faith, okay? But it's, it's a time to have blind faith, baby. Just trust, again, the universe is working for you, not against you, okay? I do feel like someone is trying to come in and assist you. This person could be a Sagittarius. This person could also be a water sign. Strong emphasis on water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're dealing with an, uh, with an earth sign, I feel like if this person has a a child's mother, okay, that is a Virgo, a Libra, Taurus, I feel like this person during this time will be feeling very rejected by your partner, so they may be causing a bunch of damn hoopla, okay, but no fret, don't fret, okay, you are going to get your ten of pentacles, all right, it's not for you to feel rejected or feel like you're being put second, it's a perspective how you look at things, okay, but I feel like if you're dealing with a water sign or an earth sign or air sign, they may have someone who they're connected with through children who acts a damn fool, straight up, straight like that, extra as hell. Some of y'all are going to be communicating possibly with a fire sign, okay, or receiving communication from an Aries Leo Sagittarius, and it's going to make you feel internally conflicted because you know that you needed to heal from the situation because this person is already out the door. This person may be speaking to you regarding um, a blended family or um, something about, um, I'm seeing, this could also be past life energy as well. This person could, you could want to reunite with this person, okay? You're conflicting with yourself with reuniting with this person or moving on from this person because you and this person are still in communication. This person, when they come back, it's like, when y'all communicate, they put you back in the energy of picking up those burdens again. It's time to put those burdens down. Put that burden of the situation down, okay? If this person has already left, Chris, why are you being, why are you allowing yourself to be juggled? Why are you allowing yourself to juggle those emotions? Because it's going to make you defensive to people who are trying to come in and love on you, boo. Okay? I do see some of y'all are, could be dealing with the fire sign who's kind of crying over, crying over, uh, spoiled milk things that happened in the past. And some of y'all, 
are possibly going to be trying to make an offer or receiving an offer to an earth sign. But some of y'all, y'all having to make a decision about a toxic person, okay? I do feel like mentally you feel bond. I feel like a, a feeling of bondage. Y'all feel stuck to this person. Even though you can literally release yourself, you need to remove yourself from the situation, even if you got to step outside yourself. Sometimes you got to step outside yourself, especially when you're having conflict with people, just to see the situation from a third party standpoint so that you cannot really hear what you're saying, okay? Or hear what's being said to you from an emotional sense. But you can actually feel both parties, okay, to make a compromise that's that's in that's in the best interest of everybody, especially if this is a family situation, baby. All right, some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Virgo, a toxic Virgo. This person could have been holding on to you for money, and y'all know that this person is a soulmate. You want to see yourself with this person, but this person always says things or does shit to make you feel slightly rejected. So you're pulling away from this person during this time. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why too many? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Yeah, for some of y'all, you want to get a soulmate relationship off the ground, okay? Uh, possibly with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. I feel like for some of y'all, you know that this is a soulmate. For some of y'all, this is a twin flame for y'all. But the connection itself is either codependent due to finances, somebody holding on to somebody for money, okay? Even though y'all, for some of y'all, this is a twin flame for y'all. For some of y'all, it's a water sign. That's Love is not getting off the ground, okay, because somebody's stuck in this woulda, coulda, shoulda ass energy, baby. You got to move forward, okay, blind faith. Yes, this person is a soulmate to a lot of y'all, but however, y'all, <laughs> some of y'all don't even want to see the truth. This person wants to go create elsewhere, and you don't want to see the truth. You don't want to let this person go because you feel like, what will I do without this person? This person has been my everything. But you're needing to make that decision to choose yourself because for some of y'all, love is inevitable. Okay, this could be outside of your energy. Yeah, definitely. Some of y'all uh, do have a situation that's going to materialize. Okay, uh, for some of y'all who you've been wanting to move forward in the family situation. Okay, maybe this person hadn't had the finances, especially if you're in the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is wanting to come in and make you. An offer that you that your ass cannot refuse. I mean, this person wants to materialize. They want commitment. They want stability. They want their family reconnected. They want all the goodies, okay? And it's up to you to come out of this, oh, I feel rejected ass state, you know, to understand that the universe is working for you, not against you. Some of y'all felt rejected in the past from a cancer. I feel like in the month of July, you connected with this person again, and this was your wish, okay? Some of y'all are coming out of a a tumultuous cycle, an indecisive cycle with this person, and you're able to move forward. Some of y'all actually in the in a period of healing, okay? Especially if you've been seeing four, four, four. Stability is coming, baby. A lot of y'all gonna get y'all wish, but it's not with the person who you expected to get it with, okay? Some of y'all are materializing something brand new with the fire sign, okay? Um, I do feel that with this person, there is a lot of passion there, but definitely the coin is there. I feel like. Coming together with someone, okay, in a family dynamic is definitely going to bring the coin. For some of you who, in a family situation, finances has been the issue and it brought a massive change, maybe some form of separation to your family, especially if you're dealing with an Aries, okay? Some of y'all, some of y'all definitely could be dealing with an Aries, but a change in the dynamic is going to come, okay? Because I feel like all you guys have gone through so much. You have every resource that you need, but you are going to stand in your own way with this rejected feeling. Loving yourself is going to bring not only the right energy, but the right person to your life because it's a vibration, my babies, okay? So again, you are the magician. Your fate is in your hands. You can sit up and cry with spilled milk or for that, or you can turn around the situation because you got everything that you need in order to go forward to get to your damn ten of pentacles. But it starts with you, queen of swords. It starts with you. Stop allowing people to walk over you. If you want a motherfucker out your house, tell him to get the fuck out. If you want somebody to get the fuck away from you, tell him I don't fuck with you like that. Whatever the hell comes afterwards, you don't got to throw shade. Because one thing, I, 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 it came, it was on my heart today. Some of y'all are having to get in this energy and be able to cut out the idea, cut out your, uh, cut out your expectation or your desired result because it's a form of control as well as codependency, baby. Okay? In order to bring in, for some of y'all, you're leaving a soulmate because your twin is coming in. And for some of y'all, it is a water sign. Emphasis on Pisces. Pisces or Scorpio or for that matter a damn Taurus. Okay? You're gonna get your ten of cups, alright? 
Some of y'all, this person that's the intention, they want to nurture you any damn way, but you're needing to. Some of y'all want to create something. You have a dream to create something. Create it. The energy is up on you. Also, some of y'all could be out finding out you're pregnant. Some of y'all could have someone proposing to you during this time. It's going to shake you up, but it's, it's, be truthful to yourself. You have three aces here, okay? You can sit here and bask in this beautiful energy, or you could feel regretful because what you don't understand is whether you voluntarily get out of this energy or you involuntarily get out of this, involuntarily going to feel uncomfortable, but your ass coming out of this cycle. You end in a cycle, okay? Move it away from your past, all right? Stop fighting it. Stop fighting growth. I love y'all. This is what I have for y'all between the 15th and the 31st of August. If you need that personal, hit me up, baby. I love you. Mm -hmm.